Hey guys, so today, finishing up this 5VZ. Um, so the pistons, when you put them in, you got this dimple here. That always goes to the front of the motor. And you have the oiler port. That's always going to face the other, the other piston because that's what oils your wrist pin. So just take note of that when you install them. Got my new bearings on. Pull these nuts out. Take a little piece of hose. Come on into your studs. Therefore, when you install them, you don't scratch, crank, bang it up, whatever. Okay, so I got my piston put in. Like, and I'll just roll the crank around, put my cap on, nuts. Put your cap here, put a little bit of oil on it. So you mind line your marks up on your caps. Okay, make sure you line your rings up right. I'm telling you in the book exactly how to do it. So just read the book. It'll let you know. When you install your rings, make sure you install them right. They usually have an indication which way is up, and it'll pretty much explain everything to you. All right, man, it's the last piston to go in. So line your crank up just like that. So when you drop the piston in, it seats right. Oil your cylinder down, put your ring compressor on, make sure your dot is towards the front of the motor, and then make sure this oiler hole is towards your opposite cylinder. So like this one, opposite cylinder, there's your hole. And you see front towards front towards front just like that front 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 otherwise what will happen is you'll install the piston and if that hole is not facing the right side it's not going to oil your wrist pin and it's going to blow up it's going to seize the wrist pin and break it from the bottom of the piston or something along those lines Basically, all you do is hold a little pressure on this ring compressor. Take the end of a hammer or a dead blow or something and just tap it down. If it stops, then stop. Don't try and force it it's all you're, like that. Because all you're going to do is break a ring or something. So, when it does that, you just put a little pressure and turn it a little bit. See? 
Bam, and that's it. Just like that. And then you just roll your crank over, keep pressure on the piston, down, roll your crank over, and then put your rod cap on. All right, guys, so I got all my pistons in and everything, and I'm going to go ahead and torque it down. Uh, torque ratings on the rods call for 18 foot-pounds and then 90 degrees. Set your wrench up, and then don't jerk the wrench, just slowly pull on it. You jerk it, you'll get the wrong torque reading. And then all you got to do is put a mark on your socket to have a mark. You're just going to turn it 90 degrees. Get you a good point like right there. And then just 90 degrees.